Hi there, you found us here at Storytime with Miss Becky. I'm Miss Becky and this is our friend Bear who loves to read along with you. Bear has a question for you. Have you ever seen someone who seems to need some understanding and help? Maybe someone who seems a bit different from most kids you see? Some say yes, Bear. Well, Louie is different. He's kind of quiet, but he's about to go see a puppet play that some kids are putting on. Let's put on the magic reading glasses and see if something happens that helps the kids understand Louie better. Louie by Ezra Jack Keats. Susie and Roberto were putting on a puppet show. They had spent a lot of time making the puppets. Kids were trying to find seats next to their friends. Wow, everybody's here, said Susie. There's Louie, said Roberto. I never heard a word out of him. Me neither, said Susie. Well, let's get started. The curtain opened. A mouse puppet appeared on the stage. The mouse introduced Gussie. When Louie saw Gussie, he stood up. Hey, sit down. We can't see through you, Louie. Come on, sit down, will ya? Louie just stood and stared. Hello, he said. Hello, hello. What's going on? asked Susie. Roberto peeked over the stage. It's Louie, he whispered. He's talking to Gussie. He won't stop. What'll we do? Susie thought for a moment. We'd better have Gussie answer him. Hi, Louie, Susie said in Gussie's voice. Nice to see you. But me and the mouse got to get on with the show. Will you please sit down? There's lots more to come. Louie sat down. The place got quiet and the play continued. The kids laughed at the adventures of Gussie and the mouse. When the show ended, the puppets bowed. Everyone cheered and clapped. Louie jumped up and clapped loudest and longest. As everyone was leaving, Susie and Roberto saw Louie. Would you like to say goodbye to Gussie? Susie asked. Louie grabbed the puppet and held on to it. What'll I do now? Susie whispered to Roberto. Gussie is very tired, explained Roberto. She has to go home now. Louie waited a minute, then let go of Gussie. Susie and Roberto started off. Louie waved until they were out of sight. Then he walked home. He went into his room and sat on the floor. He dreamed he was feeding Gussie from a huge ice cream cone. Suddenly, Gussie disappeared, and the cone too. Louie was falling down, down, down. Now he was floating. There were kids all around. They were making fun of him. Hello, hello. Nah, it's goodbye, goodbye. Oh yeah, hello and goodbye, Louie. Louie, his mother called. Louie, she called, what are you doing? 
He didn't answer. He was still sad from his dream. His mother went on. Someone slipped a note for you under the door. It says, hello, hello, hello. Go outside and follow the long green string. Louis got up and went outside. Bear's wondering, did the kids give their Gussie puppet to Louie? Yes, Bear. Why? Well, some are saying because the kids saw how much Louie loved Gussie, Bear. Why do you think Louie loved Gussie? Hmm, Bear thinks Louie might have liked the way Gussie smiled. Well, do you think a smile means hello? Bear's asking, is a smiling, friendly, hello, what Louie wanted most? Well, Bear's also asking you to come back soon for more adventures in understanding how others feel. Bye for now. Please subscribe.